Hello and welcome to a little tutorial on how to do pre-moderation and post-moderation of Facebook posts by others on your business page. Really popular question, particularly with health pages. Um, we also manage pages for TV shows that have children in them. So we have to be fairly careful about our moderation. And then the question is, do we pre-moderate, meaning we have to clear and manually approve every post first or do we post moderate meaning every post can go up and then we go in and delete and hide the ones we don't like that are inappropriate sometimes you want to do pre-moderation sometimes post so let me show you how to do it when you go to your page bottom right hand sorry top right hand corner or fairly near the top is probably a box called recent posts by others on the page and you can see a list of the posts and you can click and see more. We can show or hide this box and then we can also show or hide comments in the box and then we can also preset everything to be default hidden and then we allow things to be seen. So at the moment everything is completely public and you can see the box, you can see all the posts by others, spam, not spam, everything. Um, and if I don't like a comment I can just go and click on it and change it from the default, which is everything's allowed, to hidden or report. So in this case, I might just, I will leave it as the default. Let's go and turn all the posts off and then selectively turn some on. To do that, you have to go to the top of the page. And I have to warn you, it's in two separate sections, which is why it's a little confusing for people to set up. They get halfway through the process and then realize they can't do the other half. And the two sections are here. The first one is edit settings. Once you've edited the settings, you have to go in and do use activity log and change it there. I know it's confusing. So let's go in and edit the settings on your page. And I preset this up on another tab. I'm in settings. I go to post visibility. Highlight recent posts by others in a box at the top of my page timeline is this default box here. I've got it turned on. I think it helps with interaction, so I leave it on. But let's say I now want to hide all posts by others and then approve some. So I say hide posts by others on my timeline, save the changes. I've still got a box there, but what will happen is the box now is empty, so you can't see it. It's gone from here at all. <laughs> Let's go in now and have a look at how we change this so that we can now um, add the comments. I go to edit page and this is where you go to the second section called use activity log. And I go through each of the posts by others until I find one by someone else. I go to the default setting hidden now. It was show before, now it's hidden. And I say allowed on page. So when I refresh the page, the box will now appear with one post in it, the allowed post. So now I've got to go through all of my posts and approve them all because they were all set at default. And I've turned the default from on to off. Once I've done that, if you take them off of the default setting and change it to allowed or not allowed, it will always hold that setting. So if you find yourself getting into trouble and you need to change the default from on to off, any that you've manually pre-approved stay pre-approved. But everything else just gets flipped from on and off and off and on backwards and forwards. So it's a really good idea to make up your mind early on and stick with it, whether you're going to pre-approve comments or, um, or not. I would like to give a little caveat here, which is if you take too long to approve the comment, and that can mean minutes, you will lose FBO, Facebook optimization, edge rank, Facebook SEO, whatever you want to call it, which means that person's friends won't see the comment. The person's friends won't comment on the comment or comment on the post. You won't get more likes on your page and the social distribution where the members of the page are interacting with the page and then passing it on to their friends' news feeds 
will vanish. So pre-moderation is really for at-risk communities, children, that sort of thing. So hopefully you enjoyed that and um, I look forward to sharing another tutorial with you shortly. Thank you.